guys welcome back to my channel i know you are wondering why we're sitting here and not in the kitchen but today i felt like i should share with you a few tips that you can use to put in a few workouts during the day these are my lazy girl workouts on lazy days like when i don't feel like working out or maybe i do but i'm just not as energetic like i'm not feeling it as much or maybe i get derailed by my laptop because sometimes the first thing i do is get my laptop on my phone so i end up doing other things and not like working out but this is how i put in a workout because i personally feel guilty when i don't put in a workout and it, this happens if you if you're the kind of person that's used to working out every day like you feel guilty and then also for those that do not work out every day and you just feel like you need to start working out but you're so lazy i got some tips for you you come back from work switch on the TV here is something you could do let's start with the arms cause some I like to work out my arms cause my arms are some of the biggest parts of my body it's a family thing my arms and my legs so what what you could do is uh, put put your laptop aside and do some tricep dips basically you just do that and then using your body weight you don't even need any weights just do this do maybe 15 of them you could do this for as long as you're sitting down or if any ad comes on like as long as an ad comes on you can do this for every ad that comes on or keep switching them up so for this is one of the exercises tricep dips the second exercise i would think i would suggest to do it's good for your butt and your ass and your hips is uh bridges i don't know if that's what they're called so bridges are really good because it, and it's so easy you just lie down take a break lie down you could typically do this on your bed actually so you don't even need a mat or anything because since there is little body movement you don't sweat as much but you feel the burn so you just lie down and then basically what you do is just lift your hip up this is really good for your glutes and your butt it shapes your butt it's actually really and you feel it while doing it so you could move and if you're not moving ideally you could just stay here and relax and watch a tv show while you're here until it burns and then you can put it down and then keep watching and then when an ad comes just go back right there you don't even have to move it's very low intensity but highly 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 effective so try that and then what other exercise do i have for you donkey kicks donkey kicks also for your ass i work out my ass a lot personally because First, it's flat. Second, I had this injury when I was a kid. It's not really an injury. I used to be a sickler. So I used to get injected all the time and I don't know what happened. They used to like use like frozen ice to like squeeze it, but it has like some dimples from injections. So I work out my ass a couple of times. Basically like going down on the ground and just kicking, kicking, kicking. So do 10 on each side. So you do turn on each side because you do not want to push yourself too much because when you push yourself too much again it's it could be too much for your body and then you can just give up right there but those are only three exercises and you've seen like they do not take so much work the other exercises squats guys i know this is like too many uh leg thigh ass workouts but it's because they're really good for you you need like foot strength to balance the rest of your body and the way i do squats is normally i'm always drinking water so it's not like i plan to do the squats like here yeah, right now i have always have my water i have a straw today but every time you drink water you're inclined to go to the toilet and pee so every time you go to the toilet and pee i don't know how many times i've stressed this out i think in some a bunch of my videos i've mentioned this do some squats every time you're going to the toilet to pee get up do some squats before going to the toilet and then after peeing do the same thing after washing your hands just do some 10 squats and you know what's surprising if you pee around five times a day you've done like a hundred squats which is really which is a lot better than what you were not doing before and be, and you, you don't even notice that you're doing it you do 10 before and 10 after and then just you know move on about go on about your day i actually i'm in this group where so this girl that only does 60 squats for the past three weeks and they've actually helped her a lot so the little things you do for yourself the little changes you make for yourself are really really helpful so do some squats i don't need to show you guys how to do squats i think but yeah that's the fourth exercise and then 
the last exercise I wanted to share with you five of them the last exercise actually no I'm going to make I'm going to make them six because I just remembered you could do planks now planks are really good you can do whatever kind of planks you this you want but basically all you have to do is do that and hold it for as long as you can the trick to holding on to longer squats is putting your phone right there probably if you like instagram this is when the phone comes in hand because i know i keep telling you guys not to like use your phone a lot because it distracts you but this is when it comes in handy get your phone or get whatever it is and while you are doing the plank watch something interesting you'll be surprised that you're not focusing on the plank you're focusing on what you're watching and you end up staying longer and you are your own competition so do not compete against someone someone is doing something a certain way so you should do it a certain way no compete against yourself try to be better than you were yesterday so you could do that kind of plank or alternatively you don't even have to do it on the floor you could do it in the seat or your bed so you basically just do that this seat is a bit soft but yeah you hold it for as long as possible or, or you could do a side plank but this is hard on the seat you probably need like a floor another thing you can do which is one of my favorite things to do it's good for the legs i forgot to mention planks are really good for the whole body core strength core strength is really important because most of the movement that your body does comes from within your core so it's really really important to firm and tighten and strengthen your core that is why planks are really really good and then the other thing you could do oh my days i said six now i've thought of another at seventh workout okay i'm so sorry guys this video might be long but another thing you could do is uh, leg raises leg raises are the easiest so basically you have your computer here watching a video watching a youtube uh something on the screen while you're doing that all you do is just need to do that raise your leg maybe 10 times each side like it's so easy it doesn't even need so much work but this is you strengthening very many muscles of your body that you don't normally work on and uh i'm pretty sure i've even with the squats you'll feel it the next day if you're not the kind of person that works out every day just doing those 10 squats before you go to the toilet and after guys it makes such a big difference so try it guys and tell me what you think about it okay last but not least is jumping jacks i'm not going to like practice jumping jacks for you right now because i don't feel like sweating but basically it's like a part together part together part together we did that when we were little kids we played that a lot when we were little kids so that's jumping jacks basically you're jumping around for me i do that mostly because i have a fitbit so and i have like a certain number of steps i want to reach on the like on the daily so if i do not get to that goal what do i do i do jumping jacks while i'm working i get up instead of going instead of doing like squats when i'm going to pee i just do jumping jacks because i work out in the morning so ideally i don't want to like which of course sometimes i do add in those workouts like extra extra things but i do jumping jacks in the kitchen while i cook i do jumping jacks or like before i go to bed i do jumping jacks until i make it to ten thousand footsteps like every day if i and then because sometimes like right now it's getting colder so i don't get out to walk so much so because i do not do that i do jumping jacks if i don't make my footsteps but like i told you guys in my instagram stories i make up all these things not even make them up i know i have to get something from the supermarket but i don't get it because i will get to walk there and even if it's not that long of a walk it's something that's getting me active during the day because my work is at home i work from home so i could i could sit on my computer all day and that's all i would do but it's not good for me so i decide to keep myself active take walks do all those things like jump up and down do jumping jacks the exercises i just showed you guys so you guys i hope you found these tips helpful like i hope you found these lazy girl workouts helpful try them out and let me know how they work for you and then also do not forget if you guys want to like join a detox plan from the previous video i don't know if you guys watched it but if you guys are ready to start a healthy journey a healthy lifestyle lose weight get like get into fitness and all that guys you need to join my seven day detox plan because it kick starts you into all this new you healthier you i know it's not the beginning of the year guys but it's the beginning of fall and it's never that i mean it's not you don't always have to wait for the beginning of the year to start if 
it was your goal and you got off it guys here is a chance for you to get back on the track the year hasn't yet ended there's still a couple of months left until you reach your goal so join me i will leave a link to that in the description box down below it's completely free and yeah let's support each other let's lose weight let's get healthy together and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and found it helpful if you did guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell right next to it to be notified the next time i upload a new video that's it for now guys see you next time bye